All right, so this one's from Nerd Rotic. This is about the American Society of Magical is off. I'm not going to say it on stream. I'm on TikTok. I would say on YouTube, but I'm not saying this on, on, on TikTok. It's just too risky of a word. Uh, it's awful. People are sick of the woke Hollywood. Yeah. I've heard this. I saw the video. Uh, eh, I, uh, it's woke, but based on how the trailer went. Magi Carp Under the Sea. I didn't understand, like, you know what's funny? It's funny when I saw the trailer, I didn't really get what was this. And I was like, oh, wait, I get it now. It's that one magical, or I don't want to say the word magical, but the one friend that happens to be African-American, like, just gives good advice. That's what that is. I was like, oh, but they just made the magicals. That what threw me off about it. It's the most dangerous animal on the planet. Sure. Why this is my daughter. Ah, yeah. She said to me, why we have to move? Okay. White people. Oh, sh oh, here we go again. A friend of mine, a white friend of mine, is is uh, having big Dark feelings Boy about uh, something this racist movie is that going they to did. Fail and, so and hard, then they are I... going to call people names. LOL yes, yes, it's going to. Yes, the movie's gonna suck. Yes, it's gonna suck ass. Yes, it's going to suck. I don't think this is going to end well. This is not going to end well. It may have actually some funny jokes in it, may, but most likely and so people are not going to support this. By just the name alone, and I know that's kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover, but when living in the time we live in right now, and how hyper, overly progressive we live in, it's just problematic for me. It just, like, they couldn't think of a different name. Nothing. I have to... Uh, and something tells me, I don't even think, like, and, and, mm, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, somehow uh, alleviate their guilt rather than focus on the ways that I'm hurt. Put everything out of what? your mind and focus on his pain. Wait, go back, go back, go What's back. I want to hear this. What's the dangerous animal on the planet? Oops. Sharks. White people. Ah, oh, sh**. No, Here we go again. So. A friend of mine, a white friend of mine, is, is... Uh, having big feelings about uh, something racist that they did, and, and I have to uh, somehow uh, alleviate their guilt rather than focus on the ways that I'm hurt. Put what? everything out of your mind and focus on his pale ass feelings. Stop raising! When are white people most dangerous? When they feel uncomfortable. Oh my god. Oh my His parents. God. Look at his parents. Look at his parents. It's always uh, it's always the mixed race that always says things Dark like this. Oregon. Why? He needs to go back to the daycare center. Yes, it's always the mixed race ones that always say this. Nap. Why is this? Why? Oh my god. You can be half Asian and half something. We are only as mighty as we are united. You see, Aaron, our powers are Collective. No offense, but it sounds like that's a <laughs> com 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 gobbledygook. Is an old trope. As long <laughs> as there have been white people writing, there has been this trope. Look at his parents. You see what I'm saying? I think that you look like Chuck E. So Cheese, thank the you for that. Rat. Chuck E. Cheese, the rat. Chuck E. Cheese, the rat. And ask the hotel to have the rat removed. I'll get it. Nerdorotic.com. Greetings, you over 995,000 Awakening Wonders and the 40% who haven't subscribed yet. As you know, Hollywood is looking at Dark some Gory harder Gory. times after coming he off a year LOL. of hard times. Multiple flops, sinking stocks, and subscriber counts on this their streaming services. Well. DEI backlash, proxy wars, scandals, and last-minute firings. All while coming down from their four-year divisive bender, where the vast majority of them are sequels and prequels that most people didn't even ask for. And after Raya watching Samurai. the Oscars, it's pretty clear that the edict face has with come tears down of from joy, on face with tears of Maybe joy, face face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. Always that. And if it wasn't it's for the insecure Jimmy Kimmel walking right into the orange man's trap, they almost pulled it off. Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Ooh. Slopinopoulos. <laughs> Has Hollywood learned their lesson? Did they get the message no, about no, the message? No, no, Are they no, going to circle the no, wagons? No, Lay no, low. they're not going to do it. Safe. 
and dial down the whole pissing off no. half the country thing, well, as best as possible? Or would they release, say, a potentially deeply divisive movie that would piss off the fives and tens of people who would bother to watch it? One could say that I should do the same and maybe not wade into controversy since I am so close to a million subscribers. Well, it looks like Hollywood and I finally have something in common. We both listen to Booger. Every now and then, say what the f what the f gives you freedom? Freedom brings opportunity. Okay. Opportunity makes your future. So let's talk about the American Society of yeah. Magical wow. Negroes. Now, to be fair, the trope of the magical Negroes did exist, and it potentially could have been a good premise for a great comedy based on the Key and Peel sketch alone. Well, maybe it isn't Mr. Stanley, Carl. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been more funnier. I don't even find Key and Peele that funny for my own reasons, but like, that would be funny. I'm not gonna lie, that would be actually more funny to watch, given how over the top that, that scene was compared to that whole movie. There can be only one magical Negro! This is actually really cool. I will watch this. I will watch this. I would watch this. I would watch this. I would. Wa if this was a movie, if this whole segment was a movie, I'll watch that. That sounds funny. Cause it doesn't take itself seriously. That's the point. But in that trailer, it takes itself seriously because it has undertones of this wokenism, is it? So it doesn't work, right? But because it doesn't take itself seriously, it's worthy of watching. It's like a Dave Chappelle sketch. We got easily the worst movie of the last few years. This made Madam Web look like Shakespeare. And instead of getting a clever satire, we got 30 minutes of what was a borderline birth of a nation for a modern audience. Okay, that might be a little rough. I think a better description would be 30 to 35 minutes of your garden variety average Kotaku staff meeting. And hey, according to a writer from Kotaku, you can't be racist against white people. And well, this movie certainly agrees with her. Yes, it was that racist. I kept waiting for the punchline. I kept waiting for the resolution, and it never happened. And to make things worse, the rest of the film devolved into a nauseating rom com. Right, and I guess the best news for Hollywood is absolutely joy, no one is going to go to joy, see this. With and that probably joy, had everything to do joy. with the first trailer that That's got released funny. a couple of months ago that was ratioed into oblivion. Hell, Damn. this movie is so bad that not even the access media and corporate legacy media critics can back this up. All right, Damn. I put this off long enough. Let's break down the American society. Society of Magical Negroes. Don't worry, this won't take long. The film centers around our non-threatening, diverse male protagonist, Aaron, who is a struggling artist trying to sell his piece at a modern art gallery. Quick aside on modern art, it's complete bullshit. It's for bored, rich people to try to make sense out of something that doesn't make sense and out-interpret each other over art that is created generally by an alcoholic psychopath. Aaron yes, I don't... I, <laughs> I never really understand that nonsense. I'm gonna go to look at art and try to interpret what the person was thinking while making this shit art. Like, what, what is this, dude? Like, so you just slap a bunch of colors together, call it art, and that's what you do. That, not the the years of doing anatomy, understanding the muscles, all that stuff. Nah, just this, this shit. Like, what is this? Imagine, imagine this. Imagine putting hard work and understanding how to draw the head, the body, the arms, a car, a building, all that stuff, just to go backwards and play and and make arc work like a preschooler. It it, it comes like in a weird full circle. You start like a pre preschooler trying to make things make sense, and then when you finally have a, a way Says of doing. I doing the eight uh yeah doing the eight fundamentals okay, I, thought I was good at passive insults and he just nuked me out of the water with that lol <laughs> just like imagine that just like you start as a eight like a a preschooler in the sense of starting as an art as an artist don't know what to do you get lessons and stuff you finally understand certain concepts you understand fundamentals all that stuff you apply that 
right? Now you want to be in the big leagues, and the whole time, all you have to do is just take some paint, slap it on the wall, blah, 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 put some stupid shit on the on the thing, and then it doesn't have to make any fucking sense. You just have to put it in front of a bunch of rich people, and they have to interpret what you was feeling, because you was drunk and probably coked out of your mind at the time. You know what I'm saying? This is why most of these artists have these weird, um, what's the right, uh, midlife crises because they realize all that work going to school and all that shit I did didn't mean anything because all I had to do is just stay at where I was at the very beginning. What did I waste all my life on? You know what I'm saying? This is why anime is great and people don't like American art because it's ass. Don't mean nothing anymore. Has no sense of nothing. To sell his piece at the Modern Art Gallery, and now he's broke after spending his last $3,000 on yarn. And on his way home, he tries to help a drunk white girl with her ATM, and of course, her boyfriend and his friend come up and think that he's robbing her because he's black and threatening. There is no what? universe where this guy is threatening. But our non-threatening, diverse male protagonist is saved last minute by David Allen Greer's Roger and recruited into the Society of Magical Negroes. As per the film synopsis, a young, diverse, non-threatening man gets recruited into a secret society of magical black people who dedicate their lives to making white people's lives easier. Although initially enamored with his new powers, he begins to question the value of using supernatural means to do the very thing he's felt obligated to do his whole life. Message! And why does hmm. the American Society of Magical Negroes feel the need to make things easier for white people? Well, I think it's better to let the <laughs> film explain. White What's fortress. the most dangerous animal? On Did the he just planet? say magical negroes? Yes, Sharks. white people. Wow, subtle. Almost as subtle as that imagery, but maybe they're leading up to a punchline. When are white people most dangerous? And they're teamed up with sharks. When they feel uncomfortable. Feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. White people move into a neighborhood, they feel Darth uncomfortable. Oregon. Gentrification. Modern Damn. art is what okay. happens when you I'll use too much spray Maybe this paint joke in a small room or invented while soaking art tools setup. and White cleaning cops, chemicals. He's a black man. <laughs> feels uncomfortable. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Another shooting. Bit on the nose, but we saw that one coming. And hey, let's not get bogged down with any statistics that might undermine that narrative. It was a time when all you had to do is look at a white man and make him uncomfortable. That was pretty much it for you. For I'm some of us, the... the last thing we see in this world is an uncomfortable white man. You, you know what's so awkward about this? What's awkward about this is this man... It's telling this to this mixed race Forsters. individual who has a white you parent. Is my art. Who has a literal white parent. That is weird as hell. Nightbud. At M. Forster's holy cow. Ain't that Black awkward? Spam warning. Ain't that awkward as hell? That's awkward as shit. You bro is my art. M. Forster's. You bro, you bro is, is my art. S-H-J-T. M. Forster's. Bro, Yo asterisk. I don't know what are you trying to say, Master. M Forsters. You're trying uh, your <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. Sure about that? You sure, sure about, about that? that? <laughs> okay, here comes the punchline. We are the vanguard of white relaxation. Black knights making sure that they don't M. take Forsters. it out of brother. And no, it's the punchline never art. came, and not to get too far ahead of myself <laughs> in this review, it never does. Hell, they were so proud of that scene, they not only put it in the it's trailer, they art. released it as a full separate clip. And let's not forget that white discomfort is measured by a white tears meter. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight what? white discomfort every day. That's right. What are you According to this film, the safety of all, all black people in America, by the way, is based I on really want white to go. Um, I would not recommend going to art school to most, not because if you can f afford it, go ahead. But if you are struggling in life or you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would, I would practice art under. M -forsters. I'm still experienced and skilled. I'm a sketch artist. Here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a more effective and cheaper way that you can get your art thing going. Take art courses online art courses that you can go on gumroad for like 15 to 20 bucks you're gonna probably benefit from those than paying a whole tuition and then realizing that was a waste of your fucking money 
Says I'm trying to draw a body and I'm failing so bad. It's okay. I'll give you a freebie. What is a... You can send me... I'll give you a freebie. Uh, you can send me the reference that you're using so I can show you what you're going wrong. Darth Goricorn. I have never hoped that the happening would happen to a group of party cooler people in my life as much as I have watching this. I know, right? I know, right? Comfort. That's strange because I seem to recall Jar Jar Abrams' organization Bad Reboot proclaiming enough white comfort during the Summer of Love. No, I'm not going to let that go. And why does David Allen Greer recruit the non-threatening diverse male protagonist? I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Because he's a safe one to use. They're not going to use a true, real black person. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me. I mean, aside from being a non-threatening, diverse male protagonist, is that he's over-accommodating to white people because he's constantly in fear for his life, according to the film. Says which I makes like him a perfect recruit for... The American Society of Magical Negroes. Which, as the film stated multiple times within the first 20 minutes, is a collective of magical black people who are assigned to specific white people. What's behind these assignments? How does it keep all black people in America safe? No idea. But we no do idea. find out a little bit about the origins of this society. It comes from a group of slaves who developed this collective magic to make M white people Forsters. feel more calm. Can now, you see I think my a better use for it would have been to escape. Anywho, Dave. <sighs> Let me see. Can you see my... I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give Masters and Emma a freebie. So you can send me your art on Instagram or Discord, whatever you choose. And let me look at your art and I'll give you my assumption on it. But after that, you have to become a student. David Allen Greer assigns our slightly effeminate, non-threatening, diverse male protagonist to the mediocre white guy tech bro Jason. Exactly how is the mediocre white guy tech bro Jason's comfort and existential threat to black people in America? Don't know. He only exists to be a slight Darth plot Gorgon. complication and a I'm caricature, but did to not be get fair, Donald that's what Glover everyone is in this film. It's cringe, indiscriminate. While at the same the time, it's He would fit the role perfectly M because... Posters. He actually looks like the typical person who would probably be in this position or where a case may be. But when you take someone who is of mixed race, who has a white parent, it kind of defeats, like, it kind of like, it, there's an awkwardness to that because they have a white parent. Now, I can't tell that white parents in their life, but like nine times out of ten, they're usually out there in their mixed kid's life. That's the that's the part I don't understand. Why don't they take a actual black person with both black mom and dad, not a white mom or a white dad with a black mom and a black dad? I don't understand this. This is weird. When that talk to especially to black people specifically of black Americans, I don't think that makes much sense because that means you have Since to oust your you own parent. Where can you find? I don't, <laughs> that's a good question. Says, where could I find your Discord? Oh, link in bio. Link in bio. It's filled with discrimination, but through the mediocre white guy, we round out the cast with Lizzie, the vaguely diverse female love interest. Again, the first Mina. third of this film is essentially racism's greatest hits. Then it devolves into a Gen Z love triangle rom-com, which made me miss the racism. At least it broke the monotony. Yes, there were some other characters, I'm sorry, caricatures that were mostly cameos in the American society of magical Negroes and dumb white people. And the irony is that the trope Says of the magical Negro includes that character couple. not having you find a black and black this culture won't even yes, let me say movie. YouTube. Yeah. I didn't see that. And Aaron, spelled A R E N, our mm. non threatening diverse male protagonist, doesn't have any agency. Yeah, and the rest of the American why. Society of Magical Negroes includes um, me, me up. On. Okay. You're saying that, okay. So you need to go to Pinterest.com, pick a, pick a reference, and see if the reference you can draw it. YouTube. See your best if you can draw it and see where you go wrong, and then show me later. Me.
Exciting twists and turns like the company that they all work for, Meatbox, getting into a controversy over their facial recognition software not being able to identify black people. Vaguely diverse oh, female Jesus love Christ. interest being passed over for a presentation by mediocre white guy. Our non-threatening diverse male protagonist being told by the Society of Magical Negroes that he can no longer pursue vaguely diverse female love interest because his client, mediocre white guy, has fallen for her. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now because if you don't put Jason first everyone's magic will fail and Church. if that happens and I'll quote Sigh, from the I film he will dress. get the worst punishment imaginable his memory will be erased and he will be banished to live as a regular black person in America so M force the fuck all I'm trying to say it look on YouTube M forcers search up Dude, you, dude, bro, 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 stop, 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 stop. You don't have to do all that shit. Just go to, the, if you're trying to tell me something, just go to the Instagram or the Discord. You don't have to say all that shit. You just go to Discord. If you don't know where it is, in link in bio or in the descriptions. You're watching from YouTube, so go to the descriptions and click on the link tree or all the other links that's there. And then you can just send me a message or that you don't have to do all that. That's way too much. You're just making it run and just, no. It's not that serious. It's doing way too much on that behalf. WTF, Gary? Just go to the link tree. WTF. Or go to the link. Bro really want me to go to his Discord all for an art to show skull. Yes, because you're over here saying a thousand ten words. You can go to the Instagram. I don't give a fuck about the Discord. Just... Pick one of the two. But doing all that, it's like way too much. I don't care for Discord, you follow it. Just go to the Instagram if that makes you feel better. Shit. And again, most of this film was oh, a Gen that. Z like, love I'm triangle. I'm like a thousand What's a Gen Z love triangle? Well, head. it's a love triangle minus the humans and the human emotions. In truth, and you're this just going to have to take my here. word for it because there's no clips out there to back this up. They did manage to sprinkle in some racism throughout this slog of a story, including David Allen Greer's Roger insinuating that our unthreatening, diverse male protagonist was fucked up because he was raised around white people and part of the training of the American Society of Magical Negroes. How is that Includes up? helping shape an acceptable white person. We saving the damn world. What? And our unthreatening, oh diverse God. male protagonist telling an anecdotal story about witnessing a very comfortable white guy being genuinely surprised he was being mugged. And Aaron, spelled A-R-E-N, somehow surmised that was white privilege and comfort. But the worst part of the film was the message. How is that white no, privilege? Not you know how many different p ways? Like, my, my mod Aaron is spelled E-R-I-N. There's many ways to spell Aaron. That's not white privilege. The fuck? The message, although it was filled with that. It turns out that That's the American weird. Society of Magical Negroes is a self-absorbed personal journey about wrong, an unthreatening, bro. diverse male protagonist who believes he has spent his life trying to make white people feel comfortable, who got a job where he has to make white people feel comfortable, deciding that he doesn't want to make white people feel comfortable anymore. And you know this because you saw it in the trailer. I've always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable, and here it Boy. literally is. Oh M. Forster. <laughs> the torso is a little <laughs> fed up. Yes. Yeah, I gotta fix it. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it shouldn't be. And it all ends with the mediocre white guy's presentation and the unthreatening diverse male protagonist being upset that he was only asked on stage because he was black. Never mind the fact that the only reason he was at that job to help the mediocre white guy was because he was black. And then Aaron, spelled A-R-E-N, starts screeching about living in a world that wants him dead and for the first time in his 27 years, he realizes he deserves to be here. And he realizes that the source of all his fears and shortcomings <laughs> is white people in society. You gotta be fucking kidding. Basically, the diversity Gen Z version of the Barbie speech, although quite frankly, it makes the Barbie speech sound reasonable. Ultimately, this film, directed by first-time director Kobe Labee, is a self-insert working yeah, through his I personal see that. Oh, it makes total sense! It oh makes total sense! God.
all through a very boring and racist rom-com. Darth Again, Boricorn. a movie so bad, not I wish even I could go the back corporate in time and legacy the media critics can back this up, including a to stop them from having kids that made this. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Is a Bro's right there. I'm not even kidding, Dark. He's right there. Hold on. Him. He's the cause of this. He's the reason why this exists. He's the director. He wrote this. He's a self-insert. Oh my God. All through a very boring and racist rom-com. Again, a movie so bad, not even the corporate legacy media critics can back this up, including NPR from Aisha Harris. The American if I donate Society five dollars, would you look up and see? Wait, never mind. You, you don't, don't want to join this club. No, I don't. Well, you can do that on TikTok, though. You can do it on Patreon, though. And the Rotten Tomatoes critics hate it, too. All critics are at 31%. Top critics are at 20%. The only thing we differ on is why we hate it. I thought it was too racist. They didn't think it was racist enough. Oh, and the audience hated it too. Cindy S. gives it a half star, terrible premise, terrible movie, and a puking emoji. Succinct, to the point. Captain Cheeks gives it one star. This film makes an attempt at satire but fails miserably. Telling an Say incredibly less. boring and predictable story, the movie's overuse of cliches and worn-out themes I would not go with only the makes little it's only as entertainment, but it also reinforces negative prejudices. The overwhelming disappointment stems from its forced and simplistic representation of divide. It is a tedious trip across well-trod ground from beginning to end, providing little in the way of analysis or understanding. It perpetuates stereotypes rather than challenging them, which wears down viewers who are frustrated by the lack of depth and innovation. All in all, a terrible misfire in a crowded field of contentious film already. Could not have said it better myself, so I won't. Again, this is easily the worst film in the last Next calendar year. Well. Yes, it was worse than Madam Web. It was both pretentious and dumb, but it did encapsulate all the divisiveness in Hollywood in one single crappy film. Still, I have some questions. Why in the hell was LA so clean? Where were the fentanyl zombies? Exactly Darn what was our unthreatening diverse <laughs> male protagonist afraid of in the hipster of part of LA? You're right. Can we not get a soul plane too? <laughs> that would've been funny. Imagine they brought a soul plane too. Play bad food, film, and music recommendations. Why in the f did you not make a movie out of the Key and Peele sketch? And I'll ask again, why didn't the original The American Society of Magical Negroes Slaves who invented the magic use it to escape slavery? You could teleport for fuck's sake. And how did anybody feel comfortable making this film? You know, though, I can think of one person this film's for. Who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. <laughs> um, I did that because I wanted to create this M -force space environment. And I know if the I best teach way you how for to sketch, environment can you teach me how to digital W or L trade? What? If teach, if I teach you how to sketch, can you teach me how to? I don't need you to teach me how to sketch. What the fuck? Uh, digital W or L trade? I don't know what that means. I don't. Digital W? I don't know what that digital W means. I'm this. Uh, well, that you don't need to around people who are just like me. It is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. And for the people who don't a think this film is racist, let's play a little game. You know the one I'm talking about. Let's replace white people with Asian people, That's racist. Latino people, That's racist. multiple choice demographic. That's racist. Then I guess. That's Conceptually, this could have been a good film, probably if it were made in 2008 by somebody who was talented. Instead, it really personifies everything wrong with Hollywood right now. It's sad, it's angry, it's hateful, it's reductive, and it's dumb. I mean, just look at that title. According to the film star, Justin Smith, I'm not even supposed to say. The American Society of Magical Jimmy. Negroes. Jimmy. Justice, how are you, mate? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, hey, I'm He's really looking person. forward to your upcoming oh, film. Oh, thanks. I'm not even sure if I can say the title. Am I allowed to say the title? Um, <laughs> you know. I will shorten it to American Society. And I haven't said the title until now. The American Society of Magical Negroes is complete garbage. Don't waste your time. Nerdrotic.com
If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, I thank you for listening this long. I will see you okay. in the next video. Black green, you say that? Mm. Uh, Emma, did you find oh the thing that you needed? God. Did you find the link, whether it be Instagram or YouTube or Instagram or Discord, whatever? Did you find it or did you having a hard time finding it? All right, so that was uh, North Rock. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, if you send it to me, please and let me forsters. know. Bro, I'm better than you in sketch art. All right, so what? What? What is the point? Are you here to learn, or are you what? You here to brag? Which one is it? M Forsters. Just don't look me up. Okay. Anyway, so point is that this was uh North Rotic and the whole American magical of of awful X Y and Z. So with that said, you guys can like this, follow him, and all that great stuff. I'd like to see what you guys say. Um, like, subscribe, share, or comment. I would like to see the comments if anyone puts a comment on this. But anyway, so like, subscribe, share, follow, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. <sighs> Says I normally don't use one. a reference BC mm. to me at feel.